Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. We are going to begin the month on a full moon and end the month on a full moon, which makes this a blue moon month. And the celestial events that are taking place are ones that represent change and illumination and transformation as well. So let's start with the first full moon happening right out of the gate at the beginning of the month. This is happening in fellow fire sign Aries and it is in a part of the sky for you that has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, and political matters as well. Now I know that it is the season in some parts of the world, mainly the US, where politics is coming into focus, but regardless of where you are on the planet, this full moon is going to awaken a depth of understanding and how it is that you make sense of the world, whether that's philosophically, politically, or spiritually, or otherwise. Now, this full moon is happening hand in hand with Chiron, which means that there is a heightened sense of vulnerability at this time, a sense of visibility as well, and a sense now of something deep within you transforming, changing, and I would even say being healed in some way. Now, for some of you, it may be a time of tremendous change where you realize your place in the world is different than you believed it to be before, whether it is that you'd walked a particular path, whether it is, for example, within an institute of higher learning, uh, perhaps in a legal, um, a legal journey, it is going to be now that you will come to understand how it is that you can bring things to a close, whether that is just for you and within you, making a change in your perception, or actually deciding what processes you're going to continue to engage with and where you are not. Full moons do also bring a sense of uh, fruition as well. So this could be representing the end of one of these respective journeys. And if it is that this energy is awakening you on a level of belief, well, it may be at this time that you are feeling deeply connected to those philosophies, those politics, those spiritual values that guide your life and getting more clear as to what it is that you are going to hold on to and where it is now that you're ready to evolve or change in some way. Regardless of what happens though, this is going to be a time that either is going to represent that sense of exposure and vulnerability being something that maybe isn't so comfortable but necessary, or it is going to represent a moment where you realize that you are now able to bring a spirit of healing to others within these particular spaces and places. As we navigate to the middle of the month, it is going to be right around the 16th that we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is going to be speaking in conversations of tension with the current triple conjunction of Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. These three planets squaring off, and literally it is a type of conversation that astrologers call a square. Well, they will be speaking with this new moon in a part of the sky for you that has to do with conversation, communication. Um, it has to do with perception as well, and siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So the thing here is, is that you being yourself, just talking very casually may provoke very strong reactions in others. You may feel especially easy to provoke at this time as well. So you do want to be mindful of that, the different ways in which communication can be interpreted. Under the same sky, Mercury is going to go retrograde as well. So that's going to add to the sense of confusion that's already going to be there. And I would also add with this new moon, it can be at this time that it feels like a sibling, a cousin or a neighbor comes into focus. Whether or not it has to do with you directly, there is an awareness on your part of the limits of influence that you have in a current situation. And regardless of what it is that comes up, ultimately it can give you a new perception and a new understanding that can ultimately end up helping you and your connection to them that much more. As we navigate to the end of the month, the second full moon that we end the month with right on Halloween, well, this full moon is happening hand in hand with Uranus 
and it is taking place at the very top of your sky a part of the sky having to do with career social standing life purpose and boy are there going to be changes are there going to be breakthroughs at this time this energy is hyper visible that much more it is about you leaping forward and leaping into the future in some way so for some, this is going to be a powerful sense of change, a sense of alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life. It may represent new opportunities, big breakthroughs that come very much out of nowhere, but help to propel you forward. For others though, this time is going to be characterized more by what changes, where the closure is. And so perhaps a certain project or a pathway that you've been walking in terms of what you understand you're meant to do on a level of life purpose, on a level of career, right about now goes through a dramatic change where you find yourself taken off of one path and put on a whole other path. The thing with Uranus though is that Uranus is authentic. It wants you to be your most authentic self. And where it is that perhaps you've been settling along a path or gotten complacent within it, it is going to be this energy that is a wake-up call to you to help you to get honest about what you really want to do along with the clarity so that you can boldly align with it. Where it comes to matters of love at the very beginning of the month, Venus is going to leave your sign and move into the sign just after yours. This is a part of the sky that has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. It also has to do with your understanding of generosity and giving. When Venus moves in here, just outside of love, this can be really nice. It represents a boost in terms of income, for example. It can feel like financial opportunities are a little bit easier. It can feel like you're able to uh, connect with a real sense of self-love that much easier as well on a more personal level. But in the context of love, it is about how love helps you to understand yourself and self-love more deeply. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, this can be a powerful time where you are connecting with others that in some way help you to see yourself more differently, more lovingly than you did before. This can sometimes be in surprising and unexpected ways and yet very welcome at the same time. And it is ultimately going to be at this time that you come to a deeper appreciation as to how it is that you can actually bring that sense of self-value when you are choosing whom it is that you may want to pursue something more with. For those of you who have just started to date somebody, this can be a powerful time as well. It is going to be under the sky that you are uh, coming to a deeper understanding as to where you are in terms of self-love and how that may be showing up between you and the dynamic with this person. The area where I would want you to be a little bit careful is because this is a part of the sky that has to do with you giving, uh, and that includes in terms of money, you want to be sure that as you're getting to know this person, you feel like it is balanced, that there's an equal sense of give and take. As long as you have that, then it will continue to affirm healthy self-value to you as well. And for those of you in an established bond, this may be a time when you feel generous with your partner, you feel like you have it to give, so you have that much more to pour in the direction of your partner right about now. At the same time though, it is this month that you may find yourself needing more than one sort of pep talk, if you will. Moments where your partner reminds you that you should be seeing yourself uh, more lovingly, more valuably than you have already, or you could be demonstrating more of that right about now. And it is these moments and the powerful ways in which your path towards self-value is accelerating that can affirm the love the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I'm actually gonna say that full moon at the end of the month. I like how it represents growth and success and visibility. I love how it speaks to you going through a transformation, a change of some kind, and allowing yourself to evolve towards goals and purpose that matters to you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.